I had to steal your hat. Alright, have a good day. Bro, you come near me ever again, you won't have any teeth. You won't have any teeth. You won't have any teeth. You understand that? I understand. Don't fucking touch me. There goes Milan. All right. Christopher Poole, reactor. I mean, sorry. I didn't mean to. Everybody knows your name anyway, though, Chris Poole. Um, you just doxed him, man. You doxed him live over there. I know. Sorry. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can. Hear can. You. Okay. So why don't you first off introduce yourself, uh, tell everybody who you are, what's going on. Well, first off, tell everybody who you are, and then we'll go into what's going on. Yeah. Well, my name is Christopher Poole. Uh, I play a character called Reactor on YouTube. Um, I've been doing it for a lot, little while, and uh, I'm related to Tim Poole. You are so, Tim Poole's brother, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, so, now, why are you here? Why don't we do that? Subverse uh, and Tim Pool, and what's going on? I'm here because uh, last June, um, Tim, in my opinion, broke laws and uh, stole my company from me. Now, okay, so we'll just walk us down the path of how you started this company or, you know, what happened exactly and how did he steal it from you? Okay, so uh, back, I, I registered the domain subverse.net on July 9th, 2015. And uh, about six months later, I it went live and it was, uh, you know, it was a website with news articles and uh, a YouTube channel that had videos that I would put into the, the news articles. And... Uh, that's how I started the channel. Basically, um, it had like right. a Twitter. It had a bunch of social media, uh, you know. And the the website was like a central hub for all the social media. It was a brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tim was working for Fusion at the time, so he had a non compete agreement. So uh, I would have loved to have him join me in being a founder of this business, but he legally couldn't, so he didn't. Uh, once he was fired from Fusion, he sent me a message saying Fusion fired me, and I was like, Oh man, what are you gonna do now? And he's like, I'm gonna work on subverse with you. And I was like, all right, cool. So that day I made him a log into the website and uh, not, not much really went out from there. He, uh, I kind of let him take the lead cause he wanted to, and, and he's my brother. So I was like, yeah, go for it, man. And uh, it started turning more political. You know, at first I was posting like viral, like articles about like stories, kind of like today I learned set type of stuff. And uh, not a whole lot went on with it. May 2017, he announced on his YouTube channel that he was joining me and he was going to be part of Subverse. He got some guy to rebuild the website because I'm not a web developer. I'm a you know, content creator. And uh, I agreed, but it turned out the guy deleted everything I had created. So uh, November of 2017, I had a blank slate website. I had to rebuild it. And uh, then, uh, I'll go back a little bit. I'm sorry. October okay, sorry. of... October of 2017, Tim convinced me to move out to New Jersey and live with him. Uh, and the deal he offered me was he would be the front man, like for the business and I wouldn't have to pay rent in his apartment. And, uh, I would make the content and I would, uh, market it because uh, my skills actually in making viral videos and, uh, and his is being a front man. So, about a month later, maybe December of 2017, he had his friend Emily Molly move from Chicago to New Jersey and move in with us. Now, what's the deal with him? I, I don't know a lot of background on, on him. I mean, I just assume, you know, some type of relationship, just business, strictly business between those two or? Uh, I don't know if I should comment on that. Um, I mean, just what, by what saying I can say that, is, you basically are. What I can say is her. from the moment she moved in with us, he, he never had any sort of intimate relationship with her. Okay. All right. Fair enough. And uh, yeah. So, so he, he didn't. Me, he didn't hit it, as far as you know. Uh, no. At, from the moment I. Oh, oh, from what you saw, from what she moved. Yeah, in, he okay. can't speak about what happened before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Uh, okay. So, um, Tim convinced me to offer her five percent of the business if she populated the website with filler content because you know it's kind of a daunting task. I don't want to do that all day. Uh, and my job was going to be make. Neither like did one. I. That's why I stopped blogging. Anyway, sorry. Go yeah. Ahead. So, so my role was going to be making the viral uh, news articles that I had been doing by myself before they had joined me. And uh, so January 23rd, 2018, we incorporated as an LLC in New Jersey. And uh, Emily kind of never held up her end of the deal. She never posted a single thing to the website. 
and she started posting two YouTube videos to my subvers YouTube page, like every month. So it was like every two weeks she would post a video and, um, towards the summer of 2018, she wanted to, she was sick of it. And she wanted to quit unless Tim started paying her. She kind of like did like a union strike type thing. I don't know if you want to, whatever you want to call it. So Tim agreed to pay her out of his pocket. So she was making, I'm not positive, but maybe like 2,500 a month from Tim. And she now owned 5% of the company and she wasn't even holding up her end of the, the deal to own that 5% because she was only making YouTube videos. And I, I want to point out that I'm a YouTuber. So there was absolutely no reason for me to move to New Jersey and have this chick get 5% of my company to make two YouTube videos a month. I could have done that. That was, it's like, that's too easy. But mm -hmm. uh, I didn't complain because it was Tim's friend and, uh, and Tim was the one paying her out of his pocket. So it's like, whatever, man. Uh, so it sounds like, so, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I, should, maybe I'm just uh, you, you know overanalyzing it here. But yeah, go ahead, Bibble. Yeah. I mean, so do you think um, Tim wanted to sleep with her? Is that why he did all this for? Her? I don't know if it'd be a good idea to comment on that. Okay. Okay. I, I look. Right. I'm sorry if I'm asking. No, I, it's no problem. But I'm I mean, it just seems it. like I mean, from the way you're describing it, if you're you know, if everything you're saying is up I'm and up, I'm neither going to confirm seems... nor deny that. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair. So, Seems like uh, uh, she was taking advantage of a little, uh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, Go ahead. she, she kind of didn't really post many videos. Reg she wasn't posting them regularly, but every once in a while she would. And she got Tim to start paying for her to like fly to France. And uh, she would film, <laughs> she, would, she would walk around, she would walk around France and like film the ground and then come back and chop it up into four videos and upload them. <laughs> and then. Wait and a then, minute, uh, he paid for her to go so to everyone, France? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We we want to get he paid for her to go to France, the country France across the yes. ocean. Yes. Now did he go with her? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, she, she just likes France. In my opinion. Uh, well, I mean, it. seems like yeah. I can, the so, Riviera, I could see some yeah, I could see some places there. I yeah, so, I've never been so to Monte yeah. Carlo either. Maybe that'll be next. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So uh summer of twenty eighteen, around this time, it's when Tim started uh posting on his second channel because he realized that if he just reads news articles for 20 minutes, he can make way more money than he was making before. And uh, so he, he really wasn't focusing on subvers either. Like and you can you know look back and he doesn't even do anything. Definitely seems subverse. like he lost focus. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so Emily was just kind of like only making videos when Tim would fly her to France, you know, she would like, <laughs> so he would fly to France and it was like her reason for like, okay, I'll make a video there. I'm going here for the video, but uh, from October to from October to New Year's of 2018, nothing was posted on the Subverse YouTube channel. Like totally neglected. I had talked to Tim and said, "Hey, dude, if we're not doing anything with my business or our business now, because it was an LLC and I in invited him in, uh, I was like, let me post some stuff." And he uh, he never like agreed to that, and I didn't want to, you know, because like I respect. I mean, he was Tim, busy. Like, he was booking. Image. He was booking her, you know, flight itinerary and stuff. It sounds like that took a lot of work. So I mean, he was busy. Well, no, she, I think she was just booking it all. Oh, she just booked. Oh, she just had carte blanche to do it all herself. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, actually, she just sent no the invoice idea. in. Oh, wow. Okay. Go but ahead. uh, what was I saying? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, yeah, sorry. Right. Uh, Tim wasn't really doing anything. Uh, no one was really doing anything, and Tim didn't want me. Uh, posting any of my content because if anyone knows like the type of videos I make on YouTube, they're like nothing that Tim wants to associate with kind of, I mean, like he is, he admits he, I'm his brother, but uh, like he didn't want subverters that he was connected to, to have my style of videos because you think he's ashamed of you. Well, I don't know. I, my, my channel is really weird. Like uh, I, I have a video where I uh, drink horse cum. So well. For like that kind of thing, like he didn't want that associated with it, and I respected that, you know. Like, I didn't want to, <laughs> That's I, I didn't, a fair call. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. It was, you know. Oh, yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't milk a horse or anything, you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, so, so he was like, "No, don't post anything." And I was like, "All right, man." And at this entire time, I'm paying the bills for the business. I'm paying the web hosting fees, and I'm paying like, <laughs> like all kinds of other stuff. So October to to this, to New Year's, nothing is posted on the on the YouTube channel. Emily never posted a, a, like a single thing to the website. So I'm just paying, I'm losing this money for no reason. And uh, then Emily posted like another, she went to France again in January of 2019. <laughs> she really likes and, France. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, uh, and like January 31st, maybe February 1st of 2019, uh, Bill Ottman of Minds.com contacted Tim and wanted to invest in his business. And uh, Tim was like, because Tim has a, a corporation called TimCast, incorporated out or something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh and tim was like no no no. how about 
how about you you invest in my other business subverse and uh so it was really neg neglected until that time so then bill Ottman or, or mysacom i'm not sure which but some, some something that had to do with the entity started paying tim directly twenty thousand dollars a month to promote mines on our subverse youtube channel with our business uh weird thing is that money never touched subverse as an LLC, it somehow went around it and went into Tim's pocket directly. And then Tim gave 8,000 to Emily. So Emily was making 8,000 a month to make four videos a week, uh, one video, four days a week. And I was still, you know, like I asked him like, dude, if, if the business is getting 20 grand a month, how about you know, like you start paying the bills of the business instead of me paying out of my pocket. And he was like, That's... no, I'll just, I'll just give you money for stuff that we need. I mean, I was like, yeah, whatever, man, it was my business. It was getting funded to have content made. So I was just like, yeah, whatever, man, this is good for me still. And, uh, that went on and until, so as far as I know, and like I said, I've never seen the actual financial statements or anything like that, but Tim told me he was getting 20,000 a month and this went on for five months. So, uh, in my opinion, I guess you could say that adds up to a hundred thousand dollars. And after the five months, Without me knowing, on June 5th, 2019, Tim went to another state while we already had an LLC in New Jersey that I had been paying for and working with up until June 5th, 2019, Tim went to Connecticut and filed an, an S-Corp named Subverse. And he took all of the, the, the YouTube channel, the Twitter account, the Facebook page, everything that I had originally created and invited him into, he took all of that and moved it over to the new corporation, which I was no longer an owner of. And now Bill Ottman of minds.com is an owner and I'm no longer an owner. So uh, that's kind of my issue with it. And then, uh, but anyway, 20, uh, that was on the Who is this Bill Ottman? I know, I mean, I've seen him around. How did he get rich anyway? What, what, where did he get his uh, money from? As far as I know, he does uh, crowdfund investment with businesses. Mm. Okay, yeah, exactly like he did with Subverse. As far as I know, he's done many of them, according to Tim. Okay. I mean, I, I and, just uh, see him around. I just... I really have no clue what this guy, I mean, maybe I should know, yeah. but yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so, so now there's, there was a new subverse that now owned all of the intellectual property that I had created when in 2015, like the same YouTube channel and everything. And by the uh, way, Chad's calling no Tim, Timmy tax evasion. I have to disavow. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but, but go ahead. What was it? Sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> I said, chat was calling him Timmy tax evasion. I have to. I, oh I yeah. Well, on, hey, I don't you know. know. Descriptions there. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, we're, but we're yeah, not so saying he, that. Not he basically that. filed for a new corporation to remove me as an owner and and put Bill Ottman as an owner. And uh, on June 19th, I found out about this. And keep in mind, I was still paying the web hosting fees and the you know the the bills for this business. Like you know, they were using Subverse.net for their email accounts before they made a new corporation. Now. After they make a new corporation, they're still using the same email accounts, and I'm still paying for all this. When I find, found out, uh, I started deleting all their their business emails, and uh, told them like, you know, screw you, like, you don't you don't you want to fuck with me? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll delete your shit. What I, yeah, I'll delete your shit. I'll whatever <laughs> I have control of. So, uh, yeah. So I mean, I basically I was kicked out against my will, and. Uh, and that's kind of the story. Uh, shortly after that, uh, I ended up apologizing to Tim and saying, or well, Tim offered me a job <laughs> at the business I no longer owned. And that was pretty uh, and good. I replied, no, I want absolutely nothing to do with this business. Like, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be that your was pretty generous, though. after I, mean, I invited you. If, if what you're saying is true, he stole your business and then offered you, exactly, yeah, offered you a job. Though, I mean, that's kind of. So, so now the quartering is going around saying, look, he, he said he gave it away. Like, no, I refuse to be an employee of a business I started and was illegally removed from. I, I don't know anyone in the world who, who would have agreed to do that. Like, yeah, sure, I'll work for you guys. Like, no. I mean, you have no dignity if you do that, you know? By the way, there's still people in the chat. And I talked to you about this beforehand because of the nature of the content you do, that there's still, you know, a, a person here or there who thinks this is, this whole thing's a fake. Now, I mean, if it is, I don't, I don't mean that would be on you. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm just, a, I mean, I'm just, if, a, you know, him, an, I'm just your friendly neighborhood talk show yeah. host. I, you know, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Uh, this yeah. is what he's telling me. So uh, legally, I don't bear any responsibility for that. Just in case. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this, this is absolutely real. This is a real story. I'm. 
I'm like not in character right now. I'm not playing a character. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I don't would, believe I you never, are. I mean, I based on what you told me, I was related to for no reason. Well, based on what you told me, I don't think you are. But like, I mean, I don't know. I'm just covering. Yeah, my yeah, no, I, com- I totally yeah, understand. I, I posted it uh, uh, like on March 31st, and and people think that's close enough to April 1st to be. A yeah, and if you are, I mean, I don't know. I can't like that's on you. Whatever. Anyway, go ahead, yeah. Bibble. Yeah. Uh, yeah I I mean, just and, to... That's pretty much the the gist of the story. Um. Uh. But I, I guess a few points that people are using as sure. the. Uh, the, the quarterings video was completely twisted and lying, you know, like it was, it was scarecrow arguments. Him, Tim, like basically Tim's argument is, no, you, he, he abuses his dog. Like, what are you doing, man? And then like, yeah, calling me crazy. And, and it's like, they're, they they're, they're not you arguing. Abusing, they're not you abuse arguing your against dog? what I accused. Well, can I ask what, what made you come out with it now? Um, yeah, that's well, a good question. I've always done everything I could to support my brother and, I even went as far as uh, when he stole my business from me and and I was furious, I decided not to tell anyone because it could hurt his image, you know? And uh, last, like, I just kind of, you know, it sucked. I was like, whatever, I don't need Tim to be successful. I'm totally successful on my own. So I just kind of like, whatever, I'll move on. And uh, and then he just kind of, he didn't he didn't hurt my dog, like, physically, but he abused my dog in my opinion he lost his voice back in december yelling at my wait, dog who had just wait, had wait, surgery wait, wait, wait. and You're simple abuse your dog shit. no no i'm not like i'm not saying he physically abused him you know but like so yeah. in in uh in december early december i woke up one morning and my dog couldn't move his hind legs he couldn't walk and uh by the way I there's a take- poll i'm about to link the poll in the chat anyway keep going sorry yeah so i ended up taking my dog to the er with Tim and uh, he had some sort of spinal injury and uh, Tim offered to pay for the surgery, which was like 8,000, which <laughs> I, I do appreciate, you know, it like Tim spent a whole day's worth of his income to help me get my dog surgery. So now Chad, Chad saying that this just makes it more of a troll, like that your dog, this can't be real. Well, like, no, no, no. Is, no, see, I, the only saying. reason I'm bringing up the whole dog thing is because he told quartering to use that as a, to, to defame me, to hurt, hit my character rather than, argue against what I'm accusing. So I do feel like I do have to defend myself on this. And, uh, but, but this is also the reason why I stopped talking to my brother and no longer wanted to associate with him. After my dog had the surgery, it was like one of the, the worst t- moments, like times of my life. Like I was like, you know, like I love my dog, you know? And, and he was, I, I was just told that he may, may only have three more years to live and he's only six years old. So I was just like <laughs> dealing with that, like taking care of him. He couldn't walk. I had to like, carry him around outside so he could go to the bathroom it was like it was hell dealing with it and uh but one night my dog like hobbled and crawled to towards tim's room while he was sleeping and made noise and i don't know exactly how loud this noise was but he couldn't have been that loud but it woke him up so tim wakes up screaming furious that he was woken up <laughs> two feet away from my two feet away from my dog and my dog doesn't know what the hell's going on. He's like, I, my dog's looking. He's like, older. Confused on his face. Like, I'm, I, did, I didn't know this was bad. He's a dog. And, uh, He's an old dog. He doesn't know. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so Tim ended up losing his voice, yelling so loud uh, because my dog had woken him up. And, uh, like, I, I mean, I came downstairs and I was like, what the fuck, dude? Just, like, shut up. Like, like Tim has a bunch of yes men around him who, when he yells, they, you know, stand at attention and say, yes, sir. But because he's my brother, I, like if he yelled at me, I'd be like, you, you better shut the fuck up. You know, I'll, I'll fucking choke you out. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> As you do with brothers. Wait, let me yeah. ask you this. Who's older? I'm older. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so I told him to shut up. And uh, the next day, you know, it was like maybe two or three days after the surgery and my dog wouldn't eat and he was just shaking and scared all day. And I thought there was a complication from the surgery. Like, oh my God, the surgery didn't work. Like I was just, I was freaking out. I rushed him to the ER and the ER told me, no, he just seems like he's scared of something. And I was like, what? That motherfucker. You know, like my dog is dealing with this surgery. Like I'm dealing with trying to make sure my dog heals back to hundred percent. And he got woken up by a dog who just had surgery and lost his voice yelling at him. I was like, I got to get out of here. So I ended up uh, moving out. Well, there's no telling what he might've uh, done next. I mean, he sounds good. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. What was it? I don't know. Go ahead. Sorry. I didn't go ahead. I was yeah. Just yeah. So I ended, I ended up moving out in January and, uh, and once I was free of Tim, 
uh, and I decided I no longer gave a shit about protecting him and keeping, you know, like letting him walk all over me. I uh, sent an email to Subverse, the business that I had created and was removed from and said, hey, can we can we talk about the equity that I am owed? Because uh. we have this uh, LLC document, you know, I have evidence that I created the business and it's the same business we were working on. And he just happened to move all the intellectual property over and I don't care what he calls it. It's semantics. It's my business. So I, I messaged him said, can we, can we talk about this equity thing so I can just walk away and we have no issues. Maybe I can sign a, a form for you, uh, agreeing that, you know, I'll never take issue with you using my trademark type of thing. And, uh, yeah. he started screaming, I was extorting him. And, uh, so he starts telling my mom that he calls my mom, like I'm talking to a criminal lawyer right now, mom. You better tell Chris the feds are going to kick his door down for extorting me. And uh, what? Yeah. So I ended up having to lawyer up. I went and spoke to some lawyers and they told me, well, your brother's a millionaire. So I hope you have half a million dollars to fight him in court because Terrible. even though he's not the, you know, the, the honest party in this situation, he can still, you know, smash you into the ground with a pile of money. So, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. All right, let's see. Now you have started to go. By the way, you started to go fund me for for this. So I mean, you know, I I, I also yeah. that does lead lead a little lend, excuse me, a little bit of credence to what you're saying. I mean, because that's yeah, you know that's criminal fraud been, basically. If you if yeah, you, exactly. If you started that, exactly. up I would never that, commit fraud. Like, yeah, it's like he actually has a public go fund me that has raised like three or four k. So like if that's fraudulent, I mean, I don't know. That goes beyond uh, pranks yeah. and stuff. So, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I mean, I mean that's that's basically it. Uh, there are a couple things people are claiming. Like I, Tim's claiming I never did any work, but uh, like I even I showed you, I sent you a, a folder with videos of him admitting, like my brother does work. He has a claim. Uh, it's just that after I came forward, he was like, "Uh, he didn't do any work." Like, well, dude, you made videos admitting I do. So yeah, so there's know. the uh, I can play those if you want. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, if you want, just. Yeah, cool. I mean, so yeah, might as well play him. Uh, Mark, uh, call it. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Okay, He's muted. okay that's good. That's Hello, good. sorry, I just lost the window where <laughs> this is actually taking place. Sorry about that. I'm that's very okay. good day. It's a bit okay. early in the morning, but yeah, it is. I am here. Now you jumped right in the middle of uh, of this kind of late breaking thing. That's why I started the show a little bit early. And, uh, here we we have Tim Pool's brother accusing him of uh, malfeasance, basically. Yeah. Uh, so that hello, develop... Tim Pool's brother. Chris Pool is his name. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Chris. Chris Pool accusing. Him. Hello. Yeah. Uh, this is Mark Call. He's been a guest uh, on this show many times. It's good to have him back. Uh, I I don't know if you followed any of this. Uh, I haven't know. seen any of this. I don't really follow um, Tim too much. I. <laughs> Yeah, he's somebody who just sort of popped up at a weird time and all of a sudden became huge and seemed to sort of divert an awful lot of people who are you don't on the sound path like a big truth who are now just in some kind of Tim Pool playpen. So he's not somebody I'm overly impressed with, to be fair. So no offense to you, Chris. Oh no, I'm not Tim Pool, so I totally agree. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, yeah, he's been shitting on him for like the last forty-five minutes. So, yeah. um, so I mean, uh, well, I mean, putting his claims out there. I mean, it's not necessarily well, yeah, shitting. Yeah, yeah. Tell the truth if you're telling the truth. I'm not making it's anything so, up. As yeah, far if, as I can, if you're just you telling know, the truth, you're just telling the truth. All right, let me read these. Um, uh, let's see. BG White says, "Ask the real question: What's under that beanie? What about your? So you wear a beanie too? Do you actually have hair under your beanie? Well, I, I mean, I know he does not. I, at, when I play my character Reactor on my YouTube channel, I wear a, a hat that uh. You know, I associate with the character, so I stopped wearing the hat because I don't want people to think I'm in character because that that's kind of an issue for me. You know, like I don't I don't want to dress like the clown I play on YouTube. But uh, like what was, what was the actual question? Am I bald? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, basically. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, yeah, I I shave my head. Okay. All so right. it doesn't look like his because his looked uh, terrible. It, it looked like somebody fell in a vat of acid or something. <laughs> I mean, my hair doesn't all grow. My my hair pro probably grows maybe a little more than his does, but I do shave my head. So. All right. Let me, let me keep going here. Uh, let's see. Rage player in a three month streak. Also just resub for three months. Thank you very much. Rage player. Patrice O'Neill Groyper says, does Tim have one beanie or a lot of the same kind? Uh, yeah, I think Tim has like a, a drawer filled with the, like that gray and black beanie that he wears. Just the same brand. Same. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Same, like he, he just bought a box pretty, full of them. Or something. It's pretty drab, isn't it, to wear the same <laughs> same hat every I day? Mean, I don't know. It's his trademark. It's his trademark. He's making a lot more money than me. I guess you know it's working out. Does um, he even yeah. wear that during like hot weather? Oh yeah, he does. He so wears it all day all in the, the house. Time. All in day. The house. <laughs> <laughs> Probably during sex. I can't. I can't really speak for that. Have but you ever? I, I would guess. No. Have you ever yanked it off his head? No. No, I don't really care. Okay, I was just wondering. Like, I mean, like, I don't care to see if my, is my brother bald. Well, I mean, you know, he flipped out when that one dude yanked yeah. it off his head and claimed that it was like a Superman. Uh, I mean, he, Clark he knows the secret for me. Yeah. Clark <laughs> All right. Uh, we be all gifted some subscriptions. Uh, actually, several Bibble. Uh, let's see. The Hacksman. Uh, and those are the two. Let's see. Shen Shen 256B says, Reactor, aren't you a long, long control? Just asking. Um. Yeah, but if you if you actually like understand my channel, I mean, but what's it's, the it's con? Kind of, like like you're coming on here and saying he ripped you off. I mean, I don't I don't really know what the con is. I don't know if that's true or I, not. I mean, like like the thing is, my my YouTube channel is basically a satire of y- greedy YouTubers. I pretend I pretend to be a greedy YouTuber, but I'm not actually you know like I don't sell buckets of food or anything like that. <laughs> Who does that? All right. Uh, WPP Hill gifted another one month subscription to He Blow Squat. Shin Chan 256B says, Tim Pool and Minds is radicalizing a generation. KP77 says, I feel for dude, but why did he let it go so far? Why did you let it go so far, sir? Um, well, no, no. I, I've been begging Tim since since I moved out of his house in January. I've been begging him to not make it, let it come to this. Uh, like, please do. Just, you know, he knows for a fact that I'm the creator of Suppers. I've got videos of him saying it. He knows for a fact I helped him uh, with with the creation of what he's working with right now. And he knows for a fact that he went to another state to remove me as an owner of that business and incorporate. So, I mean, I don't have to convince him that he's so I, I just been begging him like, dude, come on, just take this seriously. And he and he started screaming extortion. So I was like, OK, I guess I got to get a lawyer. Uh, and then it just kind of went forward from there and eventually. I was on the phone with my sister on uh, March 31st and I just hit a breaking point talking to her about it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to blast it on Twitter right now. Cause I don't even give a shit anymore. Now and, uh, quartering, yeah, quartering his quartering has said that he wanted on the stream. Uh, so we'll see uh, if he joins in. Uh, let's see. Uh, have you considered telling Tim Pool's mom on him? Kevin Vance says that uh, uh, Tim blocked my entire family. So wait, none of what? my family talks to him anymore. Oh wow! So he's yeah, just, they they all took issue with what he did to me because it's illegal and and then he you know he sold one point two million he sold ten percent of the business to investors so you, you steal a company and you sell it to investors like Tim's really digging a hole here and my family was like stop it dude what are you doing and uh, Tim got sick of them you know trying to tell him to stop and he blocked everyone so damn. Uh, Nemesis Prom says, any comments on quartering videos? They make Chris look like a grifter. Unsurprisingly, uh, Valsh promoted Chris's story. I'm seeing a cat boy shaped here pattern. Ralph called the quarter pounder. Uh, he has the link. Uh, I just sent it to him. So if he wants to join, Dorothy says, never trust a hat man, no matter the size of the hat. Uh, the hacks man says, I actually remember when Tim lost his voice in December. Uh, this one says, reactor, what do you think about your brother's work and how milk toast is it? I'll leave that there. You know, rock TV subscribe for a month. Also gifted 10, one month subscriptions and I won't read them all out, but very kind of you, uh, very uh, kind of you, you know, rock TV. Hold on. Let me read these random number nine, yeah. uh, with the subscription. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Shin Chan two fifty six B says, well, go ahead, get your thought in real quick. Also quarter. No, I just want to say TV. someone asked about Thank the quarter videos. Uh, he, I mean, he, he, he shows clips of stuff and then twists it like me saying like me, uh, giving the domain name to Tim because I like it was me letting him walk all over me basically like okay I guess I can't blast you on Twitter for doing this to me so because it's his business was using the domain for emails it was part of the business he stole the business from me so I just let him have it because I still believe I own that business so uh, I wanted to stay whole and then that's part of it but he's using pieces and twisting it like at the end of one of his first videos he was calling me he was trying to convince his fans that uh, I was a nut job and uh, a loser. And, and if you, my, my main point on that is uh, I gained a following without anyone knowing I was Tim Pool's brother. Uh, a lot of people who know who I am are surprised to find out I'm Tim Pool's brother. And that's because I purposely made sure nobody knew I was Tim Pool's brother because I don't want to be associated with Tim Pool. You know, 
so I guess that's kind of my point on that. Another point Quartering was saying was that uh, I only want Tim's money because he raised 1. million or 1.2 million in August uh, for selling 10%. And that actually isn't the case. And I can prove it because as Quartering said, I asked for $333,000 uh, for my equity. And that's because when we had an LLC, we didn't, we didn't uh, actually write down the amount of equity each person got, you know, because we weren't really, uh, we didn't do it properly. So that means by default, we each have 33% of subverse. So my 33% uh, of equity to me is worth $333,000 because it's my understanding that Bill Ottman paid Tim $100,000 for 10% of the business. And that would put the evaluation at the time they removed me illegally at $1 million. And 33% of $1 million is $333,000. Now, if I wanted the money that Tim had raised, the evaluation at the time they raised that money was $11 million. So I would be asking for $333,000. You know, $3 $333, I would be asking for 33% 33 of 11 million. And I am absolutely not. And I guess that's the math that I can, tr you know, try to point that out. Shin Chan 256 B says, did Tim break the dog's legs with his drones? Probably rage player says, Chris started the subverse game and revenge. Shin Chan 256 B says, Tim pools a millionaire. What? Yeah, somebody said he made $150,000 a month off YouTube. I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah, I said <clears> that. That's true. Yeah. Is that true? That's, that's quite a number. Yeah. I have to say reading, reading news articles is a profitable business. Rando number nine says, ask Chris to talk to Nick Ricada. Uh, the quartering just reset for three months. Also, he threw the Ninjagini. I threw him the link. I don't know if he wants to hop on or not, uh, but, but thank you for that quartering. Uh, Patrice O'Neill says, he wore his beanie to the White House. He did do that. Yeah, we talked about that uh, on this program. Uh, now, let's throw it to some callers. What do you think about that? All right. All right. Uh, Sedan, you're on the kill. Oh, shit. Uh, Sedan, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I want to echo that sentiment that Nick Ricardo would probably be a good person to bring on oh. just to ask questions. Anyway, uh, why is Tim so, like, obsessed with the Subverse brand enough to take it from you? Uh, I, because I, uh, obviously it was always already the case that there was that porn game made of it that he needed to worry about defending the name against that and then to, like, underhandedly take you know, possession of it, wouldn't it have been easier for him to just come up with a different brand? Yeah. And actually when I found out he illegally went to another state and made a new corporation, stole all the intellectual property. I actually, in my messages, I said, start a different business. Uh, I don't know why he did it. I don't understand. Uh, but there in the videos where he talks about joining me, he does brag about the work I had done getting hundreds of thousands of viewers, you know, with, without, before he even joined me. So, the brand did have, you know, that value before he even joined me. And, and I think that's part of why he wanted it because of the age of it, because, you know, it's an established brand kind of, you know. So is the calculation now that he just thinks it'd be much easier for him to pay lawyer, lawyers and stuff that it would cost a lot less than 330 grand to just, yeah. you know, assume control of the business underhandedly like that. And not just, I mean, it's, you got you to gotta imagine there's going to be monetary damage just to his reputation for doing, engaging in all this in the first place. Yeah, I yeah, I've actually have no idea why he, because I know for a fact he knows what he did. Like, that is, like you cannot convince me otherwise. He's not, he's not stupid. So, yeah, I, I don't understand either. All right, caller, last little point. Go ahead. I think that's all I had to ask. I just find it kind of bizarre because, like, he was obviously successful in what he was doing and just to, you know, buy you out. I'm sure even if you, if she would have offered you slightly less than that, if it was reasonable, maybe you could have came to terms or something. Just uh, bizarre. And, and what I want to say to that is uh, it's my understanding. Bill Ottman paid a hundred thousand dollars for 10%. And when he did that, if he said, Hey, Chris, I'm going to have Bill come in for, uh, and be a 10% owner and we're going to remove your 33%. I'm going to take, you know, 23% of it and give you the hundred thousand dollars that bill is paying i would have been like yeah let's do it i'm out i don't want to be in business with you you know thank but you. instead he just yeah thank you caller i appreciate it uh okay so <clears throat> so l let me read these real quick uh studio i can says get the fuck in there quarter pounder patrice o'neill says by the way happy something satan the same i have no idea what he means by that but thank you happy saint the same day herod silva tg says should have had mark on first it's 2 45 a.m there yes i'm very well aware what time it is there uh, i had a 
wife that lived there for a while. I'm very well aware of what time it is. Mark, why don't you talk? By the way, quartering said he's going to hop on. We're going to take some more callers in a minute. I don't know if you can make heads or tails. You kind of came in on the tail end of this. Uh, we probably got another 20 minutes or so with this to, to see what happens. But uh, I, I know quartering and Tim Pool, two of your favorite people. You really, I like the you, Yeah, that's right. You did talk to quartering. But did, didn't that happen hey, on this show? He's, really nice guy. he's actually, I know he gets a lot of heat, uh, but he's a really nice guy. And I think some of the heat he gets is because when he does his videos, he does speak quite slowly. And he also does this thing at the beginning where he sort of claims his videos are being blacklisted and he's not getting enough hits and you need to like his videos. But to be fair, he does that so more people like his videos so he gets more engagement. I'm not sure whether he is being blacklisted because he has some great, great viewing figures. He does red pill people to a certain degree. And when I spoke to him, he was very, very polite to me. and. I do, I'm not the biggest content creator in the world. I have spoken to bigger content creators and some of these people, they can really talk down to you and sort of ignore you because you don't have as big a platform as they do. But I actually found him to be quite humble, very pleasant, very friendly and very open to talking. He wasn't one of these people who showed up and was all kind of like, oh, I'm not speaking to you because of who you are or because you've got less subs than me he just seems like a really nice guy and some people seem to have it in for him for whatever reason and i don't know i, I just i just find him to be a nice guy now reactor chris pool here doesn't have yeah. the same take now wh what is your problem with the quartering exactly what why do you think he's uh, doing this well i know he's good friends with my brother i know they talk on the phone at length uh maybe not every day i'm not saying that but i know they they speak on the phone stuff like that so i know he's just defending them because they're friends and uh and when I watched this video, it was just obvious because I like, I mean, I make fake news, you know, I hate fake news. So I, I tear apart fake news and, and everything he was doing was like psychological manipulation at the end of his video when he, when he tried saying, uh, I was, I was insane and I'm a loser, you know, he, he's painting this picture of me trying to make me look like, uh, you know, like a crackhead loser. So don't believe him. Don't listen to what he's saying about Tim. You know, it's like he, he didn't make any actual points. He used uh, DMs on Facebook DMs from two weeks after they incorporated without me. And, and, and it's not my issue. I'm not denying that I gave up and let them take the, the, the domain name. The domain name isn't the business. The, the business is all of it combined. So they stole everything from me except for the domain because they couldn't get the domain. The domain was in my personal email. Uh, but... I, I did end up giving Tim the domain because Subverse is my, you know, like my baby, my brainchild. Like I, I nursed it for like four years and I didn't want to tear it apart just because, you know, Tim wanted to steal the, the juicy parts of it. And uh, I also believed that as the, the rightful owner, uh, if, if I keep it all together, I can fight to get it back one day. All right. <clears throat> let's keep going. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Herbert uh, Silva TG says, Ralph, more outraged that Tim hurt the dog. So am I. Rex Racer says, well, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> it was emotional. He didn't physically abuse the dog. He didn't lose the dog. Rex Racer says, are we going to ask quartering about Hatgate? I don't know. Spanish Inquisition says, press S to spit on Tim Pool. <laughs> uh, and we shall see how many. Let me play these clips here real quick. Uh, let's see if I can get that to show up. I'm just going to go. They're really short, so I'm just going to go ahead and play them. You guys don't have to tune in, whatever. I'm just going to play it right now. Just because he's had, you know, other people on, like, you know, the, that's the point I'm trying to make, right? Sure. Subverse is a bunch of things. My brother does work. My brother's got 90,000 subs. He exists. He has rights to the trademark. Just because I'm bigger doesn't change that. Right. Because quite honestly, Subverse is 99% just me. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, that's unfair. My brother started it. Um, but my brother is like, you know, doing his record channel and he's coding some video game. He's absolutely involved, and he like maintains the website and other social media networks. All right, now that's the first video where he says you're involved, maintain the the uh, website. Uh, I think that one that probably is enough right there, even. But uh, and yeah. we'll we'll go back to it. Let, let me uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, uh, let me try to take a few callers. Okay, uh, let's see. Unirock, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. 
Yeah, buddy. Look, Reactor, I won't take up much of your time. Um, you've done a lot of really crazy trolls, though, in the last four years. So you, you do kind of like see why we're all having a hard time getting behind you. We want to be, you know, we want to fight with you if you've got this issue. But, dude, you're you're like a really good troll. So what do you have to say about the people that can't get behind it right now? Yeah, there's really nothing I can say other than this is 100%. I'm not in character. Reactor is a character I play, which I would never admit on my channel or you know on twitter unless i was serious yeah all right man well i appreciate it dude thanks for having yeah, me ralph yeah. all right yep no problem man appreciate it thank you all right uh let's see um uh, okay i'm looking through the oh shit did i just okay let me try this a uh, tundra theory you're on the kill stream go ahead you're muted though so Tundra! Now you're not muted, but we still can't hear you. Okay, well, you're going to the radio room. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lieutenant Binary, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Ah, uh, hello, guys. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? You got a question for the guest here, either guest. Uh, Mark Collins here. Uh, we're still finishing up with Reactor 2 as well. Oh, uh, what? Colette, Colette or Colette? I I always it's, have this doubt with the with the guest. It's Colette, it's Colette, but a lot of people use Colette too, and he said he doesn't care either way. Is that, is that right, Mark? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, no, but this I point. find I wait, 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 let him answer, let him answer, let him answer, caller. Go ahead, Mark. No, I was just saying at this point, Annette, five to three in the morning, it's not the biggest issue in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I get you, brother. It's three fifty-five in Slovakia, Bratis in Bratislava, Slovakia. So I get what you're saying, but you know, the quarantine does uh, a lot of things to to people, <laughs> including staying up uh, to catch the kill stream live in America. Thank you, sir. I'm, so, glad, you, I'm glad you caught it live. Go ahead, get your question in there. My question. What? My my question to the to the to the guest is why are you coming here after blocking uh, Dick Masters on 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 Twitter after he called you from the shit that you apparently are doing because uh, apparently you have been doing jack shit in the business that you are claiming to have. And uh, when Dick Masterson claimed that uh, you have been doing jack shit, you just straight uh, block him. I, what I didn't block him. I didn't block him. But also, yeah, Dick, Dick Masterson is, is like you know, talking shit. Uh, a lot of people are saying, like I, I addressed this earlier, they're saying like, you're just a, you just want Tim's money, you're just a mooch. And uh, no, I actually built a name for myself without anyone knowing I'm related to Tim because that's not... You know, I can do I can do my own thing. Um, so, yeah, like the only reason I moved out to New Jersey to, was to help Tim and to bring him into my business. And uh, and I gave up a lot to to go out there and I put a lot of my life on hold. And uh, yeah, it kind of really you know took a hit for that. And it's kind of what bothers me a little. All right, <clears throat> Quarter, and you're here on the kill stream. Go ahead. Hey, I sorry, I'm just in from fighting on the front lines for for memes so me more veteran I, uh, i'm glad you can <clears throat> take time off from <clears throat> go ahead go ahead yeah it's well tough. i think that there's a lot there's a lot of weird misinformation that chris continues to push in spite of obvious facts um including what his entire argument is based on which is this valuation of a company in exchange for a hundred thousand dollars from minds.com which is patently false he continues to ignore the fact that i spoke directly with bill Ottman, the creator of minds and he completely debunked that and never gave any money in exchange for any ownership so i mean let's start there okay well my issue with that is that tim told me he was getting twenty thousand dollars a month for five months until bill became an owner and that is where i'm getting this hundred thousand dollars from and you can call tim a liar all you want but uh i'm not gonna believe you no, I'm not calling Tim a liar. I, I mean, I talked oh, to Tim agree. and Bill. Okay. So I'm telling you that Bill did not invest $100,000 for 10% of the company. So the so entire argument. Okay. So he became, he replaced me in my own business for free. Is that what you're saying? 
No, I'm saying the facts state that there is no $100,000 investment for 10% of the company. So your entire basis of a million dollars, give me 333,000 is all bullshit. There's absolutely no articles of incorporation that all state right, well then, for $100,000, okay, you well, get 10%. Okay, in court, if, if that turns out to be the case that Bill didn't pay anything for 10% of the business, then I guess if my 33% is worthless, I'll just take my 33% equity in the business. If it's really that worthless, I mean, I'm not going to sell 33 for nothing, you know? So I guess that's where I'll stand. Yeah. I mean, 33% of nothing is still nothing. No, I no, no. 33% that... of the business as it stands right now. I mean, we could do that. Did you or did, did you or did you not abandon the company for nearly 14 months? N no, I absolutely didn't. I have, were I, I mean, I, I, what I've, were you doing during that time? I was doing You've everything. I was, I was paying bills. I was, are you serious? I was paying. Yeah. I have, what, were I have you, what were you paying I, bills I can, with? Was like with my money? Are you serious? With your money, I saw you asking Tim Pool for forty dollars for gas money. How are because you paying he, bills for a huge company? That forty dollars, dude. The forty dollars was because Tim said, "Drive me to New York. I'll give you gas money." Mm. And then he never gave it to me. So I yeah. hit him up on Facebook and said, "Let me get that forty bucks, dude." And he said, "Sure." That wasn't me asking for forty dollars. Hey, you mind if I borrow money for you so I can? drive you two hours to New York city. Like, see, you don't understand what you're talking about, man. So just, that's what I'm so saying. If you have money to pay, if you have money to pay for bills for the company, how come Tim paid for your entire surgery for the dog? $8,000. Because I don't have $8,000. And because Tim so stole my business four months prior. So I had no income from that business and not that I would have had income anyway, but because I was out in New Jersey to help Tim, I didn't have a job in New Jersey because I was only there to help Tim. And once he stole my business from mm -hmm. me, I had absolutely nothing to do except for sit there programming my video game 20 hours a day. And I didn't have $8,000, but I do have an income. What about, so, what, what about programming that video game was investing in the company, investing your time in the company that everyone else was? Do you understand how business works? First of all, I was investing I I time. In, wait, 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 yeah. wait, First of all, I was investing time into the business, but that doesn't even matter. As the founder and owner of 33% of the business, I could actually sit on my ass and laugh at Tim all day while he works his ass off building the business. But look, the only reason I brought Tim into the business is because he said he had a sales pitch that said, come out here, I'll be the front man, I'll find investors, Emily will make the content, and you just, you know, maintain the the skeleton of the business and It'll be a great business. And I said, that is a great sales pitch, Tim. You go find investors. Emily, you go make that content. And that is where I was when they said, you're not doing anything. We, I found the investors and she made the content. Like, no, it doesn't work like that, man. You can't go to another state. But that is true. Incorporate. You can't go to another state, clone the corporation to remove an owner and then move all the intellectual property. Keep this in mind. I created the YouTube channel that they are currently using. I, that is the YouTube channel I used when I created the business. Same with the Twitter account, same with the Facebook account. And... I no longer have control of that. You can't take the intellectual property of a business and move it to a new one to remove an owner. That is fraudulent, it is evil, or yeah, it is evil, but it is illegal. Mm. Now, I'll agree with you that you did get pushed out. I've never denied that. The, the, the other okay, part of this argument that's my only point. So, so why are you saying, trying to tell your audience that I'm insane? What does that have to do with anything? Why are you telling my, you, you said something about You're me. acting insane. You're if acting I, insane, Chris. If, if, you, if you brought me in as an, uh, to help you with your YouTube channel, and I changed the ownership to my name and said, sorry, I went and incorporated it in Indiana. This isn't your business anymore, mm. dude. Would you not be furious? And now imagine- I'm not saying you don't have a right to be mad. Huh? Imagine if your brother did that to you. No, it's one but thing- But you're using an SW argument. No, 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 Chris, let me respond. You're using an emotional argument. I'm saying that, yes, you, nobody refutes that you incorporated the company. Nobody, not even Tim, right? Yeah. But what I'm saying is the reality of the fact is you incorporated a company and never invested any near, where near any, you were playing World of Warcraft, you're living with Tim Brent well, free. Dude, dude, right? I did Tim not play, your dog I, I never played World of Warcraft since 2008. Really? What yes. if I have, uh, oh, you're saying you never played World of Warcraft for, since 2008. Hold on a second. Wait, what is? Are, are you talking about World of Warcraft Classic, which Tim convinced me to play? Oh, sorry. They're <laughs> come Did on, dude. you try to frame you up by oh, having I thought, I thought we were splitting hairs here, dude. I'm sorry. What does World of Warcraft That's have to do? I... What is happening right now? I don't. 
Yeah, he, he, because after after my business was stolen from me, I had I started programming my video game 20 hours a day, and Tim was like, play World of Warcraft with me, play World of Warcraft with me. And I was like, dude, I don't want to play a video game that has no ending. And he was like, just do it, man. Come on, play with me. And, and I <laughs> broke down and I said, sure, I'll play it. So I started playing World of Warcraft with Tim. And, and they're using that as an argument saying, all you do is play video games. Dude, I fucking hate video games. Why are you programming one, working 20 hours a day on it? Because I love making video games. Mm, okay. I, I hate playing video games because I, I'm not interested in any of them. So, oh, I mean, they, so that's your argument. I, I oh, he he makes video games, but he hates them. Yeah, okay. No, that is a point. I'm just, I mean, I'm allowed yeah, to sure. make. Don't yeah, you I mean, have a whole weird. channel it's based weird. on people who make I video games? games I hate them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. You'll fit right in with modern, <laughs> modern games. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that yeah. your channel? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the fast track. You're on the fast track. <laughs> but yeah, hey, quartering. I want to say, like, I never really had a problem with you. It's just looking at watching those videos. You're twisting stuff. I know you're friends with Tim, and I and I understand why you're, you know, you're trying to paint a, a pretty picture of him. But it's just annoying, man. Because I like I don't I don't want to make a response video. I don't want to soil my YouTube channel with a response to this this bullshit. That, that, that's, that's what really the kill stream's for. That's what the kill stream's for. Soiling. Oh, no. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think that no, there's, I'm, there's, I'm trying. To, yeah, I think the point that that I've made, and I think this nefarious Jeremy's twisting things. I mean, I'm just analyzing in uh, you know small conversations where. You know, it's pretty obvious when Tim says you haven't done shit for 14 months and you don't refute that. Did, you don't. Have no, 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 I absolutely refute that. And didn't we just play a video on this stream where Tim says he is absolutely involved? Or, or am I confused? Isn't it possible that that Tim's trying to look out for you? Is it? Yeah. So you're saying Tim was lying? Either, like a good family member would. So you're saying it's more likely that Tim was lying on a live stream than now. You think it's unlikely that once I accused him of doing what I say he did that he wouldn't make up and say something and say, uh, no, he just wasn't doing anything. And besides, it doesn't even matter if I wasn't doing anything. I've got, okay, look, the day that they incorporated, uh, if, if you guys want, it's in that Google yeah. folder I sent you. Mm -hmm. I have a Facebook ch ch group chat of me making the thumbnail for the Subverse YouTube channel, daily video. I made the thumbnail the day that they incorporated without me. So, I mean, I'm not you saying- You made a thumbnail for 33% of the company. No, the, the, the relevance of this specific thumbnail is that it's evidence that I was working even on the day that they kicked me out of the company without me knowing. I can show you all kinds of other group chats. I mean, do you really want me to post every single group chat me and Tim ever had? Yeah. I don't want to go that far, though. Oh, sorry. Yes, I think everyone would. I think everyone would. But I would. Yeah, yeah. So my entire thing, by the way, I and I said this in my videos that I completely understand why you feel the way you do. My argument is that the 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 notion that Tim Pool that you had helped him build a successful business and he stole it from underneath okay. you is absurd. All right, okay. If you want, you can play the video where Tim's out on the boardwalk and he and he mentions how great my business was even before he joined it. That's right. Brothers right, never okay. pump each other up. No, I can, I can show you. Let's play it. Let's play it. Point yeah, of ahead. this video. It's not just to rant uh, about these outside. two news issues that yeah. I don't think were, were covered well enough, but to point out that I don't think it's being covered well enough. That's why I have a website. It's called subverse.net. And my, it was, uh, actually, my, my brother put it together, and then I started working with him on it a few months ago. And we've got a bunch, we had a bunch of viral articles, actually. A lot of it was just kind of trivia and interesting facts, science. Uh, then we started working with Cassandra Fairbanks, who is... Uh, she writes now for Big League Politics. She was All right, there we go. I played the clip. Go ahead. Yeah, so I could also show you the from back in. Uh, I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's on its Twitter. I can send it to you. Oh, yeah. I've seen so it before. I, think I, could, I also have. Uh, yeah, yeah. I also have a, D, a, a screenshot of a DM the back in uh, December thirtieth, twenty fifteen, the day I launched the website. The first day it was public. I had like hundreds, of th hundreds of thousands of views, and I was showing Tim. And he was like, "Holy crap, dude." you're doing better than Fusion, the business that he was working for at the time. And I was like, really, you think so? And he was like, yeah, they pay millions of dollars for this kind of traffic. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And, and I can show you that. I can show you that Tim was impressed with how well I was marketing my business on the first day I started it. And, and everyone's saying I didn't do anything. And like, I don't know if you heard this, but like I was saying before- I'm not saying you didn't do anything in the beginning. I'm saying you didn't do anything for almost a year. But by I your own did. 
No, no, no. I never admit. I never said why that. Didn't, why didn't you because, push back against him saying, "Dude, Emily's working fourteen hours a day, and you're doing nothing but complaining," and then you just complained more? What about all those yeah, because, ships because he allegedly that, that, funded to France for Emily? That seemed a little extravagant. Yeah. Recording. Okay. Did you, but uh, did you hear about? I that? mean, like, it was a heated argument. I was ignoring a lot of things he said and just typing shit out, not even reading the screen during that. So, I mean, I can show I can show you evidence that Tim never did anything for Subverse. Anything. What did he oh, do? Yeah. He found an investor? Is that what oh really you found oh, an investor? I think he did a little something. I mean he secured a oh, million dollars in crowdfunding. Yeah, okay. F yeah, okay, sure. Ever kick me out? Yeah, sure. Oh, here, here, here. Keep, oh, I said this earlier and I feel like I have to repeat myself because you might not have been here. But when I had my business and Tim sent you know gave me the sales pitch why I should bring him in, what he said was I can find investors and I can use my audience to to be the front man of your business and and we can do great things. And I was like, Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, brother, we can do great things and yeah. and I'll invite you into my business, for, give you 33% of my business if you can find investors and you know, make this business great. So everyone who's saying like, you know, it wouldn't be anything without Tim. Yeah, that was the point. That was my business decision to bring him in because he could help my business grow. Do you think that establishing a domain name is the same as say investing or inventing a can opener where somebody steals that and makes a bunch of profit? I mean, do you think that Tim's not going to be able to go to court and say, you know, this, we, he even by his own admission said, I'll just create another company called the same thing. No, he can't. Right? He can't. But he can't. There's a porn game called Subverse. Yeah. And it's a different, there's, there's a different trademark. You can't do that. But oh, here, here, here's, the, here's the point. Here, here's the main thing, though. The YouTube channel, I don't know if you heard me, the YouTube channel he's using right now, Subverse News, is the channel I created when I started Subverse in 2015. It is my intellectual property. He can do whatever he wants, but he has to leave all the intellectual property of Subverse LLC behind and start a new company. You can't just steal someone's YouTube channel, change the name to Reactor Quartering New Channel, and it's not my channel now because I stole it from you. I literally stole it from you, and that I'm pretty sure that's illegal, dude. So while well, you'd have to, I guess you'll find out in court. But my question is, when you asked for 300K, and obviously you knew that wasn't going to happen, and then you emailed him and said, yo, bro, give me 20K. But publicly, all you keep saying is, it's not about money. What is, what really ends this for you? Like, is there some, some amount of money that Tim can give you that you just honestly walk away from this? Well, because I never made the decision on my own to leave this company. I never said, okay, I'm going to leave the company. I was forced out illegally. Uh, I mean, that's part of the issue. And I want Tim to admit what he did to me. That's that's one of the main things. But at the same time, I want if the check I'm was owed. big enough. Yeah, if the check was big enough. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. No, no, I, it's not about money. It's about yeah, my own brother. You just want Tim to admit it. You just want Tim to say publicly, a Zuckerberg. Well, I Chris, the money. Well, I, mean, well I, I want what I'm owed. I want. I, look, I dropped everything in 2017. My channel was, you know, doing great. Uh, I was doing great. I was living in a house in Chicago. And Tim said, move out here with me and, and help me uh, and let me into your business. So I dropped everything, put my whole life on hold to go help Tim. And Tim thinks it's a blessing from God to be in his presence. And that is absolutely not the truth. I can agree with that. Yeah, so the, I, I had to live with him for two years. No, well, because I was, we were in business together. And then after it all, he, he had to live with incorporates. Him. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't going to move out there and start, you know, renting my own place out there. I didn't want to be out there. Most people would do that. Most people do that when they move out. Yeah. So okay, that's fine. But part of the deal, part of Tim's sales pitch was that I wouldn't have to pay rent. He would cover it and I could move out there and, and he could come into my business. Like the sales pitch he gave me is not what he held up to. And his sales pitch was what? Come out here. You don't have to pay rent. Give me, you know, let yeah, me know the business. I'll be the front man. I'll find investors. You make content, Which, and then it turned into Emily is moving in with us. She can make the content. Okay, so that also yeah. happened. So he followed a hundred percent of the things he said he would do. And you haven't made a video on Reactor in eight months. All right, so you I'm don't not sure. Understand my YouTube channel? See, okay. Do you know what my YouTube I, I channel is? You're doing like, you, what? No, I don't. I've never actually. My YouTube, YouTube channel right? is me it, satirizing greedy YouTubers. I don't give a fuck about money, and that's why I think it's hilarious when you say all I want is money. I, my, my literal, my fucking YouTube channel is YouTube making fun of people for being greedy. I do not care about money. I have money. I don't have a million dollars, but I don't want a million dollars because I don't need to, 
have a million dollars. Just 333,000. I want 33% of the business that was stolen from me. Nobody fucking steals from me and gets away with it. Especially, I don't care the fuck is, if it's my brother, dude. I don't care who it is. Don't I agree with that. Steal I from agree me, with that. Or I will fucking die trying to fucking get it back. So what my question is, in the last eight months, you haven't, do, I mean, the reality is you haven't done any work on Reactor and you did do upload one, two, three, four, five, six videos eight months ago. So it wasn't like you can make the argument that I only upload once a month. You haven't done shit on that in eight months. You're working on a website. Uh, no, game. I don't. Dude, I, you need to watch my entire channel if you want to understand it. Because if you don't understand my channel, you don't know what you're talking about. Your entire channel. I, look, look, I, I don't. My channel, my channel isn't for me to make money. I don't read news articles all day for I, like, nobody 20 minutes each. Because for a, guy that, for a guy that doesn't care about money, you're bringing up money a lot. I haven't said no, anything because, about because your video said he just wants his brother's money. You know how many people are tweeting at me because of you saying you're just greedy. Dude, I don't give a fuck about Tim's money. Tim can go how fucking. Would you, how would you look at how would you look at it when you email him and ask for money? I mean, I'm not making a huge leap here. Okay, I mean, like, what, what can I ask for him? Okay, well, I'll take 33% of the business and no money. But I don't what want do to be in business with him, honestly. Okay, so that's cool. Right, so what was it worth when you left, when you stopped working for them? And my understanding that is that, Bill, that my understanding, I'm my telling understanding, you that didn't happen. I already, I already explained this. My understanding, no, no, you're telling me that, that you're telling me that Tim wasn't getting $12,000 a month and Emily wasn't getting paid $8,000 a month to make YouTube videos since February of 2019 until June of, of 2019. Dude, I was there. It was it was my business. I knew I, what was going I'm on. Denying, I'm not denying that that they got paid for consulting, but at no, if you've never oh, okay. produced, changed 100000 No, listen. So, your argument, listen, if your argument is that Bill, a businessman, paid $100,000 for 10% of the company, there would be documentation and the articles okay, of the corporation. Okay. Were you issue, let me finish. Were you issue stocks? Listen, you're talking to somebody who actually owns stocks in his own company and it sold companies. Don't, you're not going to try to overrun me here. When, oh, you yeah, stock stock company, company, when you issue stock in a company, you would kind of value to it and you get actual printed certificates for that stock and that stock has a value. If Bill had invested that money, not only would that information be public, but you would have some record of it. So I'm telling you that by Bill's word, Tim's word, and no official documentation, that $100,000 does not exist. So if that's, what, if, we'll that's court, if it's a publicly uh, traded company, though, just because yeah, you invest, so, that so doesn't when we go to court and they have public. to expose yeah, all, the, uh, all of their financials, yeah, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of that. Okay. But if it turns out, okay, I'll tell you right now, if it turns out that the business was worth nothing at the time they stole it from me, well, then I'm just going to, I just want my stuff back. Give me my YouTube channel back. Give me my Twitter account back. Give me my domain back. If, if you're saying my business is worth nothing, give it to me. How about you just fucking give it to me then? But they did say that. In the conversation, Tim said, you can have it. And then you said, no, never mind. He didn't say I could have it. He said, I'm going to change the name of the YouTube channel you created and walk away with it. He's, I'm going to rebrand the channel that we're stealing from you. And then it won't be your brand. Like, that's not how it works, dude. I can't rename a YouTube channel and be like, it's not yours anymore, man. Well, I'm not sure his, you may know more context than me, but the actual chat, the text did not say, I'm going to take your YouTube channel. He, you said you stole my company. He said, I'll start yeah. a new one. And then you, so I'm no, saying. But that's not what he was talking about. He said, yeah, we're rebranding. He said, Subbers is 100% yours. We're rebranding. And I'm not stupid. I right. know rebranding means he's just going to change the name on all the shit I created. So you can walk away with it. And it's still my shit. You don't know that. He could have started a new YouTube channel with a million dollars in investment. He could have created a new YouTube channel and say, we're the new company and walked away. Oh, yeah. He also right? could have he, he also could have let me know that he was going to another state to remove me from, from my own business, but he didn't. Yeah, and I, that's I agree. Past. That's, that's in the past. Yep. Yeah, that probably feels shitty. I, I don't disagree with yeah, the And that's my only argument. That is my only argument. He so illegally I know I for my own business. Argument. Now, how about this? There, I also have evidence that they lied to investors. There's, there's all kinds of evidence they, they messed up in their uh, investor deck when they raised $1.2 million. I have evidence that they're, they're selling their investors the same company that I, I still own. So none of that has anything to do with you, though. That's just about smearing Tim, right? No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm, I'm proving that the LLC, the Subbers LLC that I still own is what they sold to investors. When you go to court, and I hope you do, really, I do. No, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope you do. And I, if you if you have a case uh, that you know you have all sorts of information that I haven't seen, then sure, it's in my non lawyer opinion that uh, you're going to have to prove that you did something for the company uh, over that. No, period I don't. Of you time. don't have to prove you did anything for our company, and that's another point. Why is that even being brought up? I can prove I, I worked for the business. So I can start. 
so I could create uh, an unlimited number of LLCs and never put any work into it, and then when somebody else creates it, go demand a percentage. Well, it's of their his company. argument that he assigned yeah. them that work and that he was still the overseer, and that I mean, that, I'm not saying that that's right or whatever. I'm just saying that's your argument, right? That you assigned them. Yeah, we, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't have anything any any duties assigned to the members. Now, what do you now, say? I was working, but it is actually inconsequential to the entire argument. Now, what do you say to that? So your argument is that. Okay, yeah. So I'll say, hey, look, I'll say this is an interesting argument to put. Hey, forth I don't know. Forth. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just the host. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm totally. I'm not. Yeah. You know, I'm saying the the argument is that Tim said, "Hey, come on out. You started a website. You don't have to do any work, and I'll just always pay you thirty three percent of the company's earnings." That's what your no, argument he is. That. He never said no, 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 no. Well, that's I, your own, argument. I gave You're up sixty six percent percent of the business when I when I allowed Tim and Emily to join me. And I was left with 33%, you know, or right. the the three point three. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. I, I, yeah, but your argument is that then from that day forward, everything they did, you just had 33% of forever in, in perpetuity, regardless unless of how much they, Unless they bought it for me, from me. Unless they bought me out. Yeah. I mean, that's how it works, man. Mm, interesting. Well, it'll be interesting when you go to court, uh, putting this in front of a judge, because, you know, I'm not going to guess what will happen in court but uh it's going to be interesting to see that argument made that you know tim at no point you know from any information that i've seen has not turned you down for money has not asked you to stay in the company there are and i never asked for money okay that's fair so 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 you said in, on, your, on your video that like and tim offered him money he didn't take it yeah because i don't i didn't want to sell my business i didn't want to be removed from my business i had no choice they did it illegally no. I don't uh, think I oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say go ahead. No, go ahead. Get your get your thoughts in there. Well, so, no, I think that it'll be in, it'll be interesting to see. Um, you know, pushing forward, just saying something is illegal doesn't make it so. Uh, if Tim legitimately did uh steal it, which I don't believe uh happened, and I don't believe there's any real evidence of that, and I believe I can that prove, you, I can prove right now that uh the YouTube channel he's using right? is my YouTube channel. Well, of course you created it. Nobody's denying yeah. that. If I if I created a YouTube channel and did nothing for years with no actual formal paperwork in place, maybe maybe some judge would say, you know what, we're gonna split, we're gonna chop it up. Uh, you know, I, I abandoned this YouTube page. It was worth nothing, and then people came in and I did nothing, and all of a sudden it's worth millions. Some judge might say, all right, chop it up. It's possible. I don't like your chances, but hey, it's possible. All right. All right. Thank you, Cordering. Uh, I appreciate you calling in, man. Yeah. All right, you have a good one, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead and get your last thoughts in here, uh, Chris. I know it's been a yeah. crazy. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know, I, yeah. No, it's and okay. If you're still I, listening, quartering. Like, I, I don't have a problem with you. It's just, like, like you're making videos that I can, I can barely watch them. They're so cringy because I know the truth <laughs> about everything you're saying, you know. And uh, and I just wish you were <laughs> more uh, more factual and unbiased when you were you were, you know you were reporting the story. Uh, but yeah, my, I'm just saying. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Yeah. I, no, go ahead. I mean, give it. your final thoughts. I don't know. I don't know, you know, I don't know what else to say. Uh, if you want to say something here yeah. at the end, I know it was kind of a you know whirlwind yeah. here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I, I guess I'll say. Uh, I believe Tim stole my business from me, and I'm hoping that one day he'll admit it and give me what I'm owed. All right, fair point. By the way, thank you for yeah. coming on. I know. It was, yeah, thanks uh, for having me, guys. You, and can I ask, something. would you fight him in a cage, even if you don't get the business part? <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't want to hurt him. No, yeah, I mean, they're still brothers. Do I, I, mean, no, I, know, I mean, no, I mean, I will, I would, in a, in a cage, I would destroy him. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, if he agreed to fight you in a cage, would you? Oh, man. Fight him in a cage? I'll do, like, I'll fight him in a cage for, for my equity back. Even if you lose like the, the lawsuit, how would I lose? Whatever. Well, no, no, I'm saying like, I like, like, fuck the lawsuit. Let's fight for the money. Let's fight for my equity back. Well, if he doesn't agree to that and you, <laughs> yeah. lose, you lose the lawsuit, would you still just fight him for like, you know, a paycheck? I mean, fuck, you might as well get something out of for, this for right? five thousand bucks. Yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> there we go. We'll there we go. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. So, thank you Kill for coming on, man. I, pre I appreciate you coming on the Kill Stream. Uh, good luck to you, uh, and I, I thank you. Have a good weekend.